Hey, in this upcoming episode of DevNet Snack Minutes, we're going to be introduced to some of our IoT sandbox options and show you how to get started with them. So stay tuned. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a developer advocate with Cisco DevNet. Hey, everyone. Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with DevNet. Welcome to episode 12 of DevNet Snack Minute. If you don't know what Snack Minute by now is, Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute all things DevNet, talking to you about Cisco APIs, coding, and just some cool stuff that we, uh, we do here at DevNet. And the cool thing we're going to be talking about today are IoT sandboxes with our guest, uh, Flo. Flo, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Matt. So my name is Florian Pachinger. Um, I am uh, a developer advocate for IoT at Cisco DevNet. And I'm based in Germany, where I have already worked a lot uh, on IoT projects there. Cool. And so what do you have for us today? I have a really cool topic today about Cisco IoT. Uh, so what can we do with Cisco IoT sandboxes? And I would like to start here basically with an overview of like some, some people don't know what do we do actually in, in IoT in Internet of Things. So basically the first pillar, as you can see here, is a robust network foundation. So basically this is about getting the foundational network to industrial sites, uh, to outside environments, to rugged, where you need ruggedized uh, equipment. Then you also go into identifying secure devices and industrial networks. So we are going more into manufacturing, into the industry, utilities industry, where we de detect, um, for example, security issues. And then, of course, we expand the connectivity to everywhere. So we have a rugged as wireless solutions, uh, LoRaWAN, so long range solutions there. And all in all together, um, data will be generated. And this is where also our secure and um, edge compute solutions and software products are coming into play. So we extract and compute this uh, like a huge amount of data uh, and send it basically to any cloud where you want or into the data center. And to round it up, the last point, to manage all the devices. So basically we, we have like a bunch of like thousands of 10,000s of devices out there. And how do how does the customer uh, manage these devices and especially automate the process, especially for specific uh, deployments or for software upgrades or for configuration changes? And this is where our software suit or our APIs are coming into play. Yeah, that's very cool. I'm I'm excited to see uh, some of this stuff in action. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So the the cool part is basically uh, this is Cisco IoT overview. And as you can see here, it's like the, the, the range of topics is really wide. And this is where the Cisco IoT um, and DevNet sandboxes come into play. And I have a cat, the, I opened here already the lab catalog there of our sandboxes. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of IoT sandboxes there. So um, this is basically like all uh, telling the story about how can you get hands on experience with these equipment. And um, I don't know, like, do you know about um, Cisco CyberVision, for example? Like, this is a really cool sandbox about getting those um, industrial assets, the visibility there, getting it secured in an industrial network. And this is what you can do there hands-on with the Cisco DevNet sandbox. So you have a REST API of this solution, and you can gather all of this data, all of the security data, like, if you have some flaws there, or if any trigger points get activated there, then you can basically get all of this data um, out of uh, the Cisco Cyber Vision uh, software suit, uh, and so you get a lot of a uh, lot of insights there uh, in your industrial network. So, uh, what does it mean when I uh, go and in, go into this Cyber Vision sandbox? Um, I see the the reserve button there. Um, what do I have access to? I, it sounds like I have access to the actual suite itself, but what other devices from potentially that previous slide um, are, are tied to that? Right, right. So with uh, this um, cyber vision, so basically, and that's the, the cool thing, you get access there uh, to a already um, simulated environment. So you have, uh, you get access to the cyber vision um, application. Uh, from there, you can, uh, there are already some training data on there. So you have already access to uh, simple PCAP data of um, industrial networks. 
and you can just pull this data off and basically um, see what the Cybervision APIs can do. So um, if you, what, uh, what kind of um, protocols, industrial protocols, uh, Cybervision is talking to, um, how can you deploy a Cybervision? And this is uh, the whole sandbox is basically as well linked to a definite learning lab where you can go through the learning lab and definitely talk and, and see more about uh, what Cybervision has to offer there. Pretty awesome asset for our developers. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you is, what, what is it that you see from the field as a use case on top of these sandboxes, especially the cyber vision? Right, so with uh, the cyber vision, especially with the CP API, you can integrate these insights basically into a customized dashboard. So into third party solutions or into a customized cybersecurity dashboard of, a, of, the, um, of the company, for example. So you can integrate and get all the data uh, what kind of malicious behavior is going on in the, in the industrial network, or for example, uh, what what is actually what are the users doing, and uh, what kind of um, industrial devices are connected to, and this all this data you can basically uh, integrate in, into other software solutions there. Very cool, very cool. Now, do you have uh, some other platforms you'd like to show us? Uh, yeah, sure, definitely. So what's uh, other really cool, and there would like to start with the learning lab though. Um, is the cyber vision um, is sorry is the um, uh, another thing is the uh, edge intelligence sandbox, and there would like to start with a learning lab. So basically, um, edge intelligence is about uh, transforming the data um, and um, of your IoT edge devices and sending it to the cloud. And I have just a short overview there of edge intelligence of what it does. So basically, uh, you have a really nice dashboard and you don't need a lot of um, um, uh, basic skills in order to gather uh, the data at the edge. You can basically build a data policy or data pipeline um, directly in the edge intelligence dashboard. And from there, send the data to Azure, to Azure IoT Hub, to Software AG, or to any other MQTT broker there. And all of this and how you can do this and especially get hands on on this tool is through the DevNet Sandbox. And to start, you can just click here and start the learning lab there. And basically you have a really nice overview documentation as well. And also the blueprint of the Sandbox, as you can see here. So the blueprint is, and I'm just may go through this uh, shortly, is about uh, you have two basically simulator, two simulated industrial edge devices, which is um, one MQTT uh, and the other one is speaking OPCOA, which is an industrial protocol. And from there, the data is going to the AI broker and there you can deploy your data logic on this specific AI broker. From there, you send the data or you forward it more to the MQTT broker and here to this whole uh, visualization stack, InfluxDB and Grafana. Does this kind of help get you started on building an app application that will consume the data stream from the MQTT broker? Right, this is, um, so basically the main part of Edge Intelligence is the EI broker here. So what do you do on the Edge? And um, of course you can select here where the data needs to be sent, However, this, this AI broker piece is basically where you can send um, custom data logic um, to, this, uh, to the edge. And how do you do this? So basically we have a Visual Studio Code um, plugin there, uh, which is called like here Cisco AI. And um, basically you have here with a JavaScript um, engine, you have your access to specific JavaScripts. And from there you can actually uh, see what kind of, what is the edge function there? What does it do? So here, for example, we are getting um, specific data um, and um, checking the minimum and maximum value um, and sending basically um, an aggregated data function of uh, pressure, temperature, and the pump setting uh, to, uh, to the cloud. And this is all what you can do um, with Cisco Edge Intelligence just by simply writing your JavaScript code here and then pushing this data logic to the uh, Edge Intelligence Cloud. So, so do I have this right, Flo, and, and I'm just trying to learn this as, as you're talking. <clears throat> so the Edge Intelligence is basically sitting somewhere 
and you have some type of agent that's sitting on IOX that's basically talking to the edge uh, intelligent via, I don't know, MQTT or something, where you're receiving all that data, doing something with it and pushing it out to the cloud. Is that what's happening? That's exactly it. That's exactly it. And the, the really cool part, what you were just describing, is that you can basically do and deploy your JavaScript logic there, right? But the most or the uh, one of the other cool things is basically that you can um, go to the Cisco um, um, Edge Intelligence dashboard there and do everything out of the browser, out of the dashboard. And of course, you can get hands on with a DevNet sandbox there. Ha, ah, that's, that's super cool. Well, uh, Flo, thank you so much for showing this. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have, but Kareem has one more question before we let you go. And, and we do this with all of our guest speakers, Flo. So, um, but if you had one superpower and you had to pick from that, what would that be? Uh, well, I would say out of the blue, uh, the superpower eating knowledge. So basically, when I see a book, I want to eat it, uh, and then I consume it, and then I would have, <laughs> like I would have read the book. So I can eat it. I will eat a lot of books, and there I, I will be like, I don't need to study anymore. I just need to eat. That <laughs> is the most superpower. unique answer we've had so far. I love yeah, that. It, I love that. Well, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Flo. Thank you, Kareem. Uh, thank you, Snackers, for joining us this week for this episode, and uh, catch us next time.